Hi guys, this is Maya Alochi and in this video I will teach you how to identify the keto form when an anal is given. First of all, let's go ahead and just look at the keto and anal forms. The keto form is when we have C double bond O and it equilibrates with another form of this molecule called enal form and in this form the carbon that had the double bond O will have an OH and it will be next to a C double bond C. Enol comes basically is made up of two words, en and o. En means there is a double bond and o means we have an alcohol. So we will have OH next to the double bond. Now let's go ahead and see, and look at, take a look at this molecule to see what kind of keto form will it equilibrate to. So I have OH on this carbon. Now, if I'm looking here, enol and keto form, where I had an OH, that's where my double bond O would be. So let me number this molecule and redraw it. So I have five carbons, one, two, three, four, and five. And this double bond, I will not touch. It's not a part of it, but here I had OH. So I will make it into a double bond O. And that's where, and this my, this is my double bond that became a single bond. Because if you look at the enol form, if we go back to the keto form, my OH becomes a double bond O, and the double bond next to the carbon with the OH is disappearing. So I no longer have this bond. And I can show you the mechanism. Actually, it's very simple. If I have some sort of hydrogen here, acidic hydrogen, basically it can go, the electrons on the oxygen can go down and this will grab the hydrogen and that's how this double bond is disappearing and I'm making double bond O. First I will make double bond O and then the hydrogen will be taken off. So this is the simple mechanism behind it. Now that I have figured out my keto form, so all you have to do to figure out keto form when you're given an enol is to identify where your enol is, and I have identified that this is my enol, and then to convert the COH into C double bond O and get rid of the double bond next to it, which I am done with. Now I just have to see what is the correct name for it. I see that my double bond O is in between two carbons, which means this is a ketone. Ketone is when I have a double bond O in between two carbons, and aldehyde would be if I would have a double bond O next to a carbon and a hydrogen. Since it's a ketone, the ending should be on. On, I see on, on, and this one must be wrong because it's an aldehyde, so this is not it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and see I, I, have, I can see that my double bond O is on carbon number two. Since it's on carbon number two, I can get rid of A because it says three on, meaning that my double bond O is on carbon number three, so that's not right. So I have either two pentanone or E3 pentene two on. Since we see that we have another double bond here that we have to take care of, it cannot be 2-pentanone. Two 2-pentanone two is just um, a, a pentane chain with a double bond O on the second carbon. But we know that we have a dub, another double bond here. So that can be it. So this is our answer, which is E3-pentane-2-ON. And what it tells us is that on the third carbon, we have a double bond pentene. We have a double bond here. And on the second carbon, we have double bond O.